Jamie Tripp on YouTube. Simple question. How far in advance is the brew calendar planned? How much space do you leave for one-offs and random experiments? It depends on what you're doing. And Jamie Tripp is opening a pub and the doors are getting closer and closer to opening. Please give him a follow for Test Batches Brewery that is opening uh, the, 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 the great and powerful Jamie Tripp. Give him some love on that, some follows and whatnot. Um, and uh, check out what he has going on. I believe you are on a bit more of a pub model, Jamie. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe you're uh, maybe you're on the production tip two weeks away, son. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love hearing that. Um, how far in advance? I mean, honestly, it, it, it comes down to I think what you're going to find is I think you're going to find some core beers that people expect to see. Some beers that kind of work their way into a year round. So off the top of my head, let's just say. Uh, a light, easy drinking beer, whether that be a blonde, whether that be a light lager, whether that be a Kolsch, something like that, um, an IPA, a fruit beer, stuff like that. Pretty much all typical things that typical things that you would see. You're going to see some things that that work their way into standards, right? Um, you're going to have kind of another tier of beers that definitely fall, up, fall into seasonals, right? If you are, if you're, Cincinnati is a Bach beer area, an Oktoberfest beer area with, with, with all the, the good German folk we have down here. So, um, you know, Bach, Bach beer season is a thing. Oktoberfest season is a thing. Um, so maybe some of those specialty beers that you like to brew can fit into a, a seasonal calendar, right? Um, and those end up forming the bedrock of what your actual yearly calendar looks like. And then you can look at how much tap space you have left and uh, fit in one-offs, trials, different experiments, things like that. Because the, 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 the thing is, is people like new stuff. You know what I mean? You you want to be able to be able to post once in a while, you know, once a month, maybe at least you got a new beer on, even if it's a half batch, small batch, something, you know, something new, something experimental, something the brewer is excited about. Right. So um, I, I think that's a I think that's a great, a, a great way to uh, approach that um, and, and just kind of backward engineer, backward engineer that uh, that schedule. What you're going to find up front is is depending on how much beer you have in reserve, uh, hopefully you're going to get killed up front because demand's super high. You might run out of beers. It's okay if you run out of, uh, of a particular brand up front. If somebody is upset that a beer is gone, just say, hey, listen, everybody has loved it so much. We're so excited. We have a new batch in the fermenter and we'll let you know as soon as possible. But we also have this on right now that we're really excited about, right? It, it, it's all it's all about that. It's all about that conversation that you have with people on the service side. So don't have a heart attack if you know if a standard goes down. You know, brew more of it next time, right? Brew it sooner. Okay. Just build that stuff out. People, people are super forgiving about things, but I think you're gonna want to pull data from sales on this stuff and then schedule out like that. I know some people that are scheduled way out. That's not me. That's not me. But then again, I'm not like a huge scheduler either. Right. Um, so, but, but that's kind of what I would do. I, I would, I would back build my calendar based off of what I kind of expect, or I see proven through sales for my, for my standards to be build out my seasonal calendar and then work some things in around that. Um, so maybe that's a, that's, that's, that's my take. That's my take. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like, and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe, maybe be over here, or over here. Appreciate you watching.